Hello, my friends. Welcome to my channel, Abandoned Places Around the World. Hi, friends. In our new episode, we will talk about the legendary Land Rover SUV. We have collected for you a huge selection of abandoned SUVs around the world. Land Rover, a subsidiary of the English company Rover Group, bought in 1994 by the German concern BMW, produces off-road vehicles of the famous Land Rover brand. The headquarters are still located in Solihull near Birmingham. After World War II, a subsidiary of the British company Rover, the Land Rover Group became the first firm to take a position in a growing market of off-road vehicles. The first Land Rover entered post-war Britain in 1948, during a time of severe steel shortages. It was as ingeniously simple, brilliant workhorse made of aluminium. Brothers Spencer and Maurice Wilkes, who worked for the British car maker Rover, created a new symbolic car that combined pragmatic simplicity and ruled reliability. The car was an instant success, with the result that by the mid-50s of the last century, the Land Rover brand had already become clearly associated with the concept of durability and phenomenal off-road qualities. Military and agriculture workers, as well as emergency and recovery workers, have found in Land Rover exactly the qualities they needed in a car. By 1959, with the 250,000 Land Rover leaving the Sully Hill plant in West Midlands, the foundation for future market dominance was fully laid. The famous Defender, a long wheelbase model of Land Rover, conceived as a versatile, reliable car for the post-war period, has been produced almost unchanged for 50 years now, and its appearance resembles the same post-war model. The model is still considered the best all-wheel drive SUV. The 1960s saw a significant increase in demand for four WD vehicles, and Land Rover was at the forefront of an emerging new market segment. In an effort to find the best solution to the challenge, Rover engineers set out to design a vehicle that would combine the comfort and drivability of a family car with the off-road capabilities of Land Rover. The result of the work was the Range Rover launched in 1970 and instantly aroused general stormy admiration. The famous design of this model has reached a unique level of recognition when it was exhibited at the Louvre Gallery in Paris. However, the car's merits went far beyond comfort and good looks by retaining their unique off-road driving qualities. Throughout the 1970s and 80s, Land Rover and Range Rover continued to evolve and recognition for Land Rover vehicles grew with events such as Paris Dakar Rally, which demonstrated the brand's outstanding resilience. The Land Rover range includes two more models. The discovery was first shown at the 1989 Frankfurt Motor Show, marking the creation of a new niche for the 44 family car. In 1997, it was followed by the Freelander, a more compact vehicle with a focus on sports and recreation and taking the lead in Europe in terms of sales in the 44 class. In 1994, the BMW concern acquired the English company Rover Group and its subsidiary Land Rover, which has always specialized in SUVs. Currently, the prestige of the department is still very high. The famous Range Rover model is beyond its competition and is the universally recognized benchmark for the luxury all-terrain vehicles. In 1994, it was updated for the last time. 
It is offered with three types of engine. V-shape, 8-cylinder with a volume of 4 or 4.6 litres, with a capacity of 190 or 224 horsepower, as well as turbocharged diesel BMW with a volume of 2.5 litres and an output of 136 horsepower. A compact Land Rover Freelander is available for middle-class buyers. This model has independent suspension of all wheels and a transverse engine arrangement. It has four-cylinder petrol and diesel engines with a working volume of 1.82 litres. Discovery and Defender continue to be produced unchanged. The last, the workhorse of all other models, the most practical and reliable, also not very comfortable, is offered with an aluminium station wagon. In the UK, Defender is sold in three base version, 90, 110 and 130. They are equipped with a turbocharged diesel engine and petrol V-shape 8-cylinder engine with a working volume of 2.5 and 4 litres. These vehicles are very popular with farmers and are used by police and as fire trucks.
Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Thanks for sharing and bye-bye.